This will change how you think about wireless microphones. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out something very cool. This, and this, and hold on, this is the Saramonic Blink Me wireless smart microphone. And you're looking at all these pieces and it's like, what, how does this all work? The answer is these units are both transmitters. You can use two of them. You can do it as a stereo sound. You can mic, mic up two different people. And then this is the receiver unit and it has onboard memory. So you can actually use this just like this without any camera, without any other devices involved. And you can even balance the reception of the signals to get them to actually have the same volume. Very sweet. These obviously have little tiny color touch screens, but so does this. This actually also has its own touch screen that lets you work with it really easily. And then on the side, there are ports that let you plug in, for example, headphones or earbuds as a monitor to make sure it's all working. Always a good idea. I can tell you stories, but we won't go there. Um, you can also plug it directly into a device you want to work with. And I will do that with my fancy Sony camera. I'll give you that demo in a minute. And there's also USB-C. In fact, let me give you a close up real quick so you can see the USB-C the 3.5 millimeter output for headphones or earbuds as a monitor, and then that digital out that lets you plug this into devices. I will also give you a little demo of the touch screens, but let's get all these demos in order. So while we're looking at the buttons though, on the other side of the receiver is a volume up, volume down for the monitor and power. So they obviously have power. And then these units, it's all touchscreen, except there are two buttons on the side, one of which is power on and off. And the other one is noise reduction. Yes, one of the things that these feature is smart onboard noise reduction. Now, let me give you some specs. And actually while we're doing that, let me actually have put one of them back on. So here are some specs for the way the microphone works is the frequency response is 20 to 10,000 Hertz. Signal to noise ratio is greater than 80 decibels. Maximum sound pressure levels, 110 decibels. And the sensitivity is minus 39 decibels plus or minus two. So pretty darn nice specs. And in fact, I could give you more specs and stuff, but let's just switch straight to a demo. And what I'm gonna do in this demo is I'm gonna plug the receiver unit into my Sony camera, and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my street. Lucky it's not a very busy street. And then I'm gonna have the transmitter clipped to my shirt. And I'll show you how I do that in just a second. I'm gonna have it clipped to my shirt, and then I'm just gonna talk. So let's go and do that demo. Hi, I'm on my porch and I'm about 40 feet from the camera and the receiver. The transmitter, of course, is clipped to my shirt with one of those magnetic clips. Super convenient. And this gives me so much freedom to move around and do what I want, even at a significant distance. I could be up to 100 meters away without obstacles. So works really well. I have no loss of the volume or quality of my voice or the audio. So really very simple, very straightforward to use. I'm feeding this straight into my camera. Here's my demo. So let me get back on closer camera. And pretty darn easy, really. Now, both the receiver and transmitter have touch screens. It works on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, as do really all the wireless microphones I've ever tried. It has a magnetic charging system. So that's what's one of the things that's really cool is the transmitters have batteries, but all I have to do is put it on here and now it's charging. So if I plug this unit into a wall charger via that USB-C connection, then all three elements will be charging simultaneously. Really, really easy. Now, it comes with this pretty darn nice case. And when we open up the case, then there is space in there for 
both transmitters and the receiver and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I don't have it all jammed in there, so I can show you. Now, the company did send me a couple of separate cables that I can experiment with, so let me start with just the standard cables. And here's the one I used for that demo. It's 3.5 millimeters to 3.5 millimeters, easy to work with. There's also a USB-C to USB-A charging cable if you need that. And there is a little tiny clip-on wind cover. And I always think of these as little rats or something, but you can clip it on and then it actually will help cut down that wind noise. And that's gonna probably be your better choice. I would suggest don't use that noise reduction unless you need to. If you do, it's gonna work, but it's much nicer to just actually do sort of manual and analog things because you wanna get the maximum you can out of that audio signal. Now, where it gets fun is when we get into some of the other devices. So it includes a mount here. You can put this on a tripod if you want. And then all of these things are magnetic, so you gotta sort of pull them apart. This one is a hot shoe mount that you could use for like a digital SLR. And then there are two of these that are a magnet with a clip on it. And I'm talking about this, let me just show you, woo, preferably without having it fall, there. Now I'm ready to go and it can just clip onto my clothes and that in fact is exactly how I did it when I was doing that demo. So I'm gonna put this back on here and then so we have two of these clippy ones and then we have four, ugh, pretty good magnets actually, and we have four that are just, if I can even separate them, little magnetic discs. And the idea of that is sometimes you don't have something to clip against. So I could put that, for example, under my fabric, and then I can just put this here, and now I'm ready to go. I can maybe even clip this to, for example, a curtain or something. And then when I'm done, all I have to do is carefully separate the two pieces, and we're back where we were. And because it's all magnets, it's kind of fun to play with it all. <laughs> but that's not the intention. And finally, it also comes with this little carrying pouch. If this is a little bit more than you need, then you can just use this and carry all the essential pieces. Now, worth knowing, this is pretty darn important, is that it has really good battery life. So, the transmitters, these will run for nine hours of continuous transmission without a recharge. To recharge it, as I said, just drop it on the receiver and the receiver can run for 24 hours. So once this thing's all fully charged, you can run for nine hours with the dual microphone input as far apart as you need. It's totally up to how you want to set up your space. And then after nine hours, put it back on here and it'll, the transmitters will get another charge from the receiver or you can just use them all separately and you can still get hours and hours and hours. And that's great if you want to capture a lecture or a performance, or you just want to record a lot of footage and then just edit it all later. This will just work and you won't have to think about it. Now, the two additional cables that Saramonic sent me was one that is USB-C to 3.5 millimeter. This is, makes it pretty easy if I want to live record on my computer as I'm also perhaps saving it on here for an emergency backup. And then the other one is lightning to 3.5 millimeter. So I could also plug this into an iPhone, for example, and I can use the transmitter as a remote wireless microphone for my iPad or my iPhone. It's lots of variations, really nice setup. I really like this case. It feels like I could have it fall out of an airplane without any major issues. I have not actually tested it that way, but I could, right? So let's close this back up. And what I wanna show you next is I wanna give you some close-ups so you can see how you interact with the device using the touch screens. We're gonna start with the transmitter and then we'll look at the receiver. So let's switch to that. Let's start with the transmitter. As you can see, it's a nice bright screen and you can swipe down just like on an Apple Watch or similar. And I can change the display mode. You can see there I'm in energy saving, but I like to have it always on. You can mute by just tapping on that microphone button. That's easy enough. And there's a variety of settings you can get to, but I really wanna point out that record button because it has its own storage. I can do this 
and now I'm recording using this as the microphone and it's sending it to the transmitter and the transmitter is actually saving it in its own internal memory storage. So even if I have no other devices plugged in, it's that easy to record. Now let's stop that and let's go up and go up again. And now you can see here's some other settings. So I can get into things like changing the display or brightness. Let's go into noise reduction. And you can see I can turn on noise reduction or I can just leave it with the original and I can always do it in post as they say. And display and again I can get to settings. And the easiest way is to get back to the home screen is to just push that power button. And so now here we go. I'm ready to record and it's ready to work really well. But maybe I'm done recording. So let's go ahead and put it on the base unit. And as you saw, it spins because the way the magnet works, it's super easy to work with. Now let's look at the receiver. It also has a screen and because both units are actually docked, there's not a lot to see, but I can still move around and change recording modes. I can do re receive and transmit gain, display settings. There's a variety of different things I can do. It's nothing from the bottom, although I am trying desperately to get it to do that. So we'll leave it here and let's just pull one of these out. And I'm going to turn it on off camera, but watch what happens to this display when I turn this one on is it will automatically find it. And now it's actually showing me that input. So with that sitting over on the side, let's do the other one. So now I have the second one and that again, I'll have to power on. But once it powers on again, watch that display. And now you can see that they are getting different signals, one of which is much stronger than the other. And if I switch and talk into the other microphone directly, then we have exactly the opposite situation. And if I put them right next to each other, then we get a really nice stereo signal. So those are the displays. It's that easy to work with this. You have to learn the interface as you do with most of these smart devices, but there's a lot going on. Now, let me jump back on camera again. The one thing I've learned is that you have to slow down with the touch interface. It's not like your phone. It's not like your smartwatch. You need to slow down to have it inter the interface work correctly. Not a big deal, but when I first started using this, I was just moving around really quickly and it wasn't registering that. So when I slowed things down a little bit, then suddenly the interface was way easier to work with. But that's really the only comment I have. Otherwise, this is a remarkable piece of technology. It's really cool. And as you saw and heard, it did a great job even when I was 40 or 50 feet away from my camera. There was no degradation in sound. It was clean and crisp and sounded really good. So really enthused about this. What we do need to talk about is we do need to talk about the price because this is a professional level piece of hardware. But before we get there, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel, a click or a tap on that subscribe button, and then go ahead and click on that notification bell and we're connected. And if you found this to be valuable, interesting, useful, then a like or a thumbs up is definitely appreciated. So cool. We have two transmitters and we have a receiver and together this is the Saramonic BlinkMe wireless smart microphone and it is $249 at saramonicusa.com and I gotta say I've tested a lot of wireless microphones and this is my new go-to microphone. This is going to be part of my kit. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. So when you watch future videos from me, this might well be the microphone I'm using. It's that good. That's all I got. I'll hope to catch you in my next video.